Hi guys, it's Weekly Wax Melts number 16. I melted cherry vanilla this week. This is a really nice scent. Um, I know there are several people who have been scared away by some of Victoria's cherry scents because they are extremely strong, which then can sometimes cause them to smell more medicinal. This, however, because of the vanilla in here, um, makes it more of a creamy cherry which then eliminates that medicinal smell at least I thought it did to me this actually smells very very much like um, like a hard cherry candy or um, like if you would open an envelope of Kool-Aid and just smell the powder right out of that envelope that's what I got out of this I give this four stars it was a nice scent um, if if you're a little hesitant to try some of the cherry scents, I would give this one a shot. Um, I should also mention too, when I say that I gave this four stars, um, there are a few people who have asked why I rate some of the scents a little bit higher, um, even though they aren't, you know, super favorites for me. The reason for that is because throughout the years of ordering from Victoria, I have found, and I'm sure several of other people have as well that there are some scents when I initially tried them I thought I really really liked them in the time since then I have come come to find other scents that I like more the reverse has also happened there have been some scents that I didn't think I liked at all um, but when I came back to them I found that I I liked them more than I initially thought I did so anything under four stars is a scent that I will not never reorder or am very likely not to ever reorder four to four and a half stars is like middle ground for me it's a scent that I may come back to in the future because it might be something that I will have found changed one way or the other um, and then obviously anything four and three quarters to five stars are definite reorders for me so I hope that kind of explains it and I hope that, that the explanation made sense it obviously made sense to me whether or not it will to you I don't know we can only hope um, I melted peach cinnamon strudel pie which is a combination of peach preserves my absolute favorite peach scent from Victoria and cinnamon strudel um, I can smell both in here cold when it went in the warmer I got more of the peach preserves out of it and then just a minimal amount of cinnamon I can't say that I got any bakery at all um, this is another that I only gave four stars there was something about the addition of that cinnamon that kind of just changed the peach note for me so that I didn't like it quite as much um, another that I will probably give another shot in the future obviously I've got half a cent shot left here so unless I pass it on to Ashton to try which often happens um, I'll give this one a shot again you know in six months or so to see if my opinion of it has changed but as of now it's four stent four four stents <laughs> a four star rating um, I just prefer straight up peach preserves or Cajun cornbread over this one and truthfully this one was a lot lighter and didn't last as long as I thought it would so I'll come back to it at some point I melted dreamy creamy coconut which is a combination of coconut cream pie and creme brulee at least that's what I think it is that's what I get out of this um, I smell both equally cold when in when it went in the warmer I got more of the creme brulee out um, so again this is another four star scent I absolutely love Victoria's coconut cream pie scent I'm not a big fan of creme brulee so well I'll also be coming back to this one somewhere down the road I melted Amish quilt which is a four and three quarter star scent for me you have to be a spice lover to like this scent it's listed in the bakery section but there, I get no bakery whatsoever out of this. What I do get is red hot cinnamon, uh, clove, I believe there's some allspice in here, and then vanilla. Um, I, 
the vanilla makes it creamier so it's not like bam hits you in the face sharp spice um, it's wonderful but like I said you have to be a spice lover to like this one I like country bumpkin just slightly more because it is slightly sweeter than this but this is awesome for fall I melted ylang ylang which I thought I was going to like when I first got it cold I do like it it's not a bad scent at all I know it's a necessary component to a lot of Victoria's other scents um, but straight on I do not like this one in the warmer um, I give it three stars it's woody and floral and just slightly spicy all at the same time the spice is very very minimal in here but this sucker is strong I mean extremely strong drive you out of the house headache inducing at least for me strong and for some reason when I was smelling this in the warmer I kept thinking if 1960s hate Nashberry had a smell other than pot and unwashed bodies this is probably what it would have smelled like so that's one I will definitely not be coming back to if however you're a fan of like some of those more I can't really say this is earthy it is definitely more of a sweet floral just not a sweet floral I like but if you are somebody who likes more of those earthy scents um, you might want to give this one a shot I melted blueberry butter pound cake which is awesome um, when I smell it in the cup I get blueberry and this is the blueberry in here if you've ever had like um, and who hasn't the Jiffy boxed blueberry muffin mix and they put those artificial little bits of blueberry in there that's the blueberry in here smells like those taste if you just take one dry out of the mix and bite it that really sweet candied blueberry that's what I get out of this um this is a combination by the way of butter pound cake and blueberry cheesecake when it went in the warmer then more of that buttery pound cake scent started coming out and it was wonderful it smelled like um blueberry muffins with you know a little bit of butter added to them I really like uh, Victoria's blueberry cornbread scent as well and this one is equally as good and I melted Tahitian vanilla also a five star scent um, this is coconutty and a little bit of pineapple in there and then that really creamy sweet vanilla that I love if you like pina colada I think you'll like this one this one is considerably lighter on the pineapple in my opinion than pina colada is um, it actually smells very very much like a coconut pineapple smoothie to me it was wonderful one I will definitely reorder so it wasn't a fantastic week in melting but it wasn't an awful one either so as usual you guys thanks for watching and I'll see you next week